we looked at calculating pHs. What happens if now we actually want to calculate the concentration for each solution? Well, if you recall, if you're looking for the concentration, that's going to equal to 10 to the negative pH. But what exactly does that mean? Well, I'm going to show you how to work these on your calculator. So automatically, if I see that I have a pH and I need to find a concentration, this is just going to be 10 to the minus 3.88 equals the concentration. So remember, setting it up is half the battle. So now you're going to take your calculator and you're going to put what it's raised to in first. So I've got a minus 3.88. And then if you look above the LOG button, you see this little 10 to the X. So you're going to push second LOG, and this is your answer. And you want two significant figures. So you're going to get 0 0.00013 molar. So then the second example I have is for another pH. So it's going to just automatically be 10 to the minus 1.8. 7, 6. That's going to equal your hydronium concentration. And then I'm going to take my calculator and I'm going to put in 1.76 with a little minus sign. And I'm going to do second LOG and I'm going to get 0 0.017 molar.